So today we're finally outside and it is a very frosty uh, morning in February but um, the plants are starting to come through and I thought I'd show you some some young growth so you so you get to to keep a keep a look out for it. We're actually in the in the shade of a tree here and uh, alongside a stream and this is the, an ideal place because it's sheltered it's good sunlight and the, so this is a, an ideal place for medicinal plants to be grown. We've got quite a few different types here but I'm not going to go into all of them. Um, so the first one is nettle. It's just a young stinging nettle. Very easy to identify even in um, its very very early stages of growth. Uh, usually you'll see some old nettles that have died down from the previous year um, and the, the new growth will come through in the same place uh, so that's a good way to, to look out for it but it will also just spring up on um, just some overturned ground which is what we've got here. Um, it is still going to sting you even now uh, so if you are going to gather it then uh, I would advise gloves. Um, now I wouldn't actually gather nettles at this very early stage. Uh, they are still going to have medicinal properties but they're very early into their into their growth and um, really it would be better to have them more established and uh, more of them in one area before we actually gathered them um, and I'll I'll be talking about that in uh, in later videos so the second plant that I want to talk about is this one here and this is cleavers sometimes called couch grass um, uh, sticky willy if you like um, it's not quite that sticky at the moment uh, you'll see it, it sort of grows it is actually a vine um, I'm just going to pick a bit so that you can get a better look of it so this is this is it's also it, the Latin name is uh, gallium aparine and um, this is a very classic spring herb it'll come up at the same time as nettles um, and it's used in a lot of spring medicines uh, which was the very early multivitamin and um, I've got more details of that on my website but um, that's a and this uh, the the gallium the, the cleavers is a is a lymphatic and which that means that it improves lymph drainage from the body um, it has lots of other uses but that's one of its main ones and um, so this is at its lovely stage. Can be gathered at this very small stage. As you can see, there's quite a lot of it sort of growing in around here. So we could gather it now. But again, my preference would be to leave it until it's a bit bigger before I actually gathered it. Um, the other one that I wanted to actually show today is actually a poisonous plant. So one to be aware of if you're out gathering at this time of year. And this is Lords and Ladies. Um, so I'll just go through what you should be looking out for. First of all, forked leaf at the back. If you can see that, that point there, that is a sign that this this one is uh, is poisonous. I will show you some other examples of ones that aren't poisonous, but you've also got very prominent veins on the top of the leaf. Now, if we were looking at wild garlic, which we will do in a few weeks time, you'll see that there, the, there are not these veins on the top. Um, and it has a sort of rubbery feel to it, uh, which wild garlic has a different feel, but yeah, very prominent with the veins. Uh, large leaves there, and you'll, if we actually, if we can actually see that it'll, it hasn't actually started to grow um, the flower yet, but um, when, we, when it does, I'll, I'll show you what that looks like as well. But yeah, just to be, keep aware that this is poisonous plant, and uh, it's not poisonous to touch as you can see I'm touching it this is absolutely fine you're not gonna cause yourself any problems it doesn't cross transdermally is what we call that if to touch a plant is to allow the poison through your skin so it's not in that way so you can touch it to identify it and there's not a problem um, doesn't mean that we should be picking it or eating it um, so make sure that you can identify lords and ladies okay so that's it for today